How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Vault, and welcome back for some more Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we got ourselves a grand star to help power the Comet Observatory, which is where we are right now. And, uh, yeah. We got the ability to spin and travel into space, and in this episode we're going to be heading to the Terrace, the first dome in the game. Let's see what this guy has to say. This is one of the many domes. We call it the Terrace. We're going to be heading in here and taking on our first actual level and getting our first power star. I'm rather excited. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. Loomis transforms into a pole star. He will guide you to those faraway points. Simply point your pointer at the pole star, which this poor little blue guy is going to turn into. Oh, so sad. Hey, at least he's helping our cause. Whatever. Alright, so now you can see the galaxy map as he's going to show. Uh, these are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent the uh, the distance from the observatory. Basically, uh, their numbers represent the amount of stars that you'll be able to do. These question mark ones will be uh, eventually opened depending on how many stars you progressively get. Um, we'll be heading uh, right here. You can also spin uh, spin this if you like. You, uh, I will be heading right here to this first and only galaxy we can head to because we only because we can have one open, and we will be going to the Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. All right, evil readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Don't worry, Luma. We will. And we are off to our first level. This is quite exciting. I don't know about what you guys are uh, saying or what you're thinking, but this is exciting for me. I love this game. Um, but anyway, uh, eventually as you progress, we're going to see more stars fill up that are empty and clear. Uh, uh, as you can see, this star here is clear. Once you get a power star throughout the level, like we did with the grand star, this will fill in and you will uh, uh, be notified when you have beaten this level. More will show up as you continue to beat it. We're going to be doing Dino Piranha. Which, as you can imagine, our first, uh, first real thing is a boss battle, as you're going to see there. Creepy egg. I can only mean one thing. And, very flashy entrance, and... Click some starters as we come in, and... Welcome to the galaxy! Yes, we are here! Welcome to the good egg galaxy. Now, um... These are, uh, Octumbas. They spit rocks. And maybe these ones don't, but they, uh, have a tendency to spit rocks at you. Um, a cool thing about this game is that when you come into the level, you can already start collecting star bits, as I did earlier, I showed you. Uh, star bits are also can be found in grass here, but, uh, you'll be seeing where we can find a lot more star bits. And, uh, there are uh, plenty of ways that you can, uh, go, but, uh, if you noticed earlier, there's a lot of... It's, it's a gravity-based platformer. Just to show you how ridiculous this game is, I'm not going to commit suicide, I'm actually going to jump, and we are on the other side of the planet, which gravity is totally fine with. Um... There are still question mark blocks in this game, and Octumbas and stuff. A lot of these first few episodes are going to be a handful of explaining, because there's a good amount of things you can explain to, uh, you can have to explain in here. Um, also something I didn't do, if you push B, you can shoot, uh, a star bit at an enemy, and you can destroy it, and hey, two star bit profit, and a one-up. Fifty star bits will give you a one-up. This guy also, if you talk to him, he turns into a, uh, sling star, but if you do this... We can skip it! <laughs> Fun stuff, another sense of sequence breaking, and as we can see here, it's star chip time. So we're going to be getting ourselves these star chips while dodging giant boulders of death. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, these boulders can only be destroyed if you hit them. Uh, well, you can run into them with a uh, rainbow star. As you can see, they hit you there, but uh, if, if you run into them with a rainbow star, uh, they will be destroyed. Or you can hit these red spots, like I did there. And, they, and you can get rid of them. Got one more... Uh, star chip to go, and we'll be constructing ourselves yet another, um, launch star up at the opposite side of the planet there. It's peanut-shaped. Cool beans. Or, should I say cool peanuts? Alright, let's try and not get killed by that thing. And we're going to go on this launch star. Alright, now, um, in this LP, I'm probably going to cut out, uh, us going back to the level after the level's complete, because a lot of it is just kind of saving... And, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably cut out, uh, that and just kind of switch to when we get to the next level. Um, there are a lot of sections in this game where those vines show up and, uh, off piranha plants. And basically the only thing you have to do is, uh, spin into them and they will turn into a vine, which you swing up there. Um, this also introduces these. You're gonna, I'm actually going to demonstrate when it's more, you know, it makes more sense to demonstrate those guys will jump on your head and stuff. Let's say screw this guy. By this guy, I mean this boulder. Death boulder. Uh, there is a slight shortcut you can take, but hey, whatever. 
Death Boulder, Death Boulder, Death Boulder. That was the closest thing ever. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and get around here before I die in the freaking first level. This is where it's plausible. If you hit, if you spin into this, you can hit uh, that piranha plant there. You could have, you could spin into him there, or you could land on. You could uh, jump when he smashes his head into the ground. I can't believe I almost died. I almost got sent in the first level into a black hole pit for a uh, murder death. Death murder. Alright, let's see if you if you step on these enemies, they will... He's about to shoot a rock, by the way. How dare you hit me? If you step on the enemies, they will turn into coins. If you hit them with star bits, they will turn into... Um, or if you spin into them, they will turn into star bits. And let's get into here. You can see that very reminiscent of Yoshi egg. Sadly, Yoshi's not in this game. Funny thing, though, that I read is that they actually planned for Yoshi to be in this game, but it just didn't work into the final cut, which is why he's in the sequel. Again, there I go, talking about the sequel, and I said the last time that I wouldn't, but hey, whatever. Ominous egg. Hit, hit, it's watermelon tail, apparently, into it, and hey, Petey Piranha turned to a dinosaur! That's what this reminds me of, in high-quality spit. So, use the same tactic you used before, and hit him in the head with his own butt, or tail, I guess. Also a good place to collect a ton of star bits. Oh, missed him. Boom! This is this, the boss battles in traditional Mario sense, and by that I mean hit him tw hit him three times and he's gone. Easy enough, right? Yes. Poor guy, I feel bad for him. Poor Piranha, di Dino Piranha. But hey, there we go, our very first Power Star. It's exciting stuff. I'm excited. Power Stars. Alright, let's get it. Very less dramatic collection, uh, composed, uh, compared to a Grand Star, but hey, whatever. Alright, I think I might show, uh, just this, just to show you guys what the whole landing scene is like. This is probably what I'm going to be cutting out from here on out, because it just might be a waste, and you guys probably don't care, but this is what, if I cut anything out, this is what you're missing. A lot of saving, a lot of that star popping out of Mario's hat. And, oh, I guess it is important for this. Those stars are starving. Salumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Good thing I kept this in, then. And point this. Once you have some, shoot them. As I explained, you can shoot them at enemies. Um, aim at me and feed me some star bits. This is an integral, an integral part of why there are star bits in this game, is feeding Lumas them. I think he needs, what, like five? Yeah. Oh, wait, great, I wasted one. It flew by in the cutscene, you gotta be kidding. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. Somebody is hungry. Be the hungry Luma. Yeah. That's kind of a main reason, one of the main purposes of Star Bits, we're actually going to be heading back to egg, uh, Good Egg Galaxy, is to feed hungry Lumas, which we'll be getting into later. Alright. Now let's go. Next we'll be taking on a snack of cosmic proportions. If you couldn't tell enough, as I said before, and as the other Luma said before, this is feeding Lumas. That's another great chance to sequence break, which I might might try and do. <laughs> Speed running tactics. That is Hungry Luma, as we saw earlier there. And collect some star bits. And once again, welcome to the galaxy. Uh, here's actually it was a little known fact back when this game came out, but since it's been out for about five years now, I think right came out in like 2000. I don't even remember. I think it was 2007. <clears throat> um, this patch here. If you spin into anything that looks like a circle of stones or whatever they may look like and spin, it turns into star bits! Yay! Good stuff. Alright. Um, this is actually, you're going to want to be collecting a lot of star bits in this level. <clears throat> a hundred to be exact. Yeah, shoot your rock. Okay, or not. I could just kill you. You're going to want a hundred, but don't freak out because I have barely left the first platformed area and I already have 29. And I need to clear my throat. <clears throat> not sure why, but hey, whatever. I guess you do every once in a while. I'll see another set of these. We're almost halfway there, and we haven't even left the first planet yet. Hey, one up. Pretty much guarantee, get, um, forcing you to uh, uh, get two one ups in here. All right. I like the uh, constant rain showers that come down. This is actually where we're gonna want to go this time. You're gonna want to come over here. Talk to this Luma. Blue Luma. I, I got a hungry friend up ahead. Ahead. Not up a hand. Ugh. English language! Now this is, uh, kind of the introduction to pull stars. They work very similar to the way that you get into an area, but you just kind of pull yourself and, uh, drag yourself along. It's pretty easy. Not really too difficult. 
All right. Also, if you see uh, anything in grass, if it's ever glowing, there are star bits in there. If it's ever um, shaking, that means there's a coin. Um, you're, you also want to be careful when you hit those bounce things. I don't really know what they're called. Those balloon-shaped things that I just hit. Um, because uh, if you're in the way, they will fling, fling back at you and knock your star bits out. So this is a rather risky way to collect star bits. But hey, whatever. Um, granted, they don't knock that many out. That's something I'm thankful for in this game, is that when you get hit, you don't lose star bits. Because uh, if that would have been in, in implemented into this game, that would kind of suck. I think we actually have enough to get over there now. I definitely know that there's more than five on the planet that we're supposed to go to. Alright, now that is another planet with star bits, but if you hit this launch star here, in mid-launch, you will get some more star bits, and hey, look at that, we got our 100 and our other one up. And right up here, might as well get some more star bits, because we'll be needing them. This actually does not add up to your total once you uh, give them to a Hungry Luma, sadly enough. So yeah, if there's ever a star bit collecting thing, you're going to want to spin into enemies. It's just better. Also, if you take that launch star, it'll take you back around if you don't have enough star bits, or for, what it, for whatever reason you want to leave. Hey you, yeah, got any tasty star bits? Feed me a bunch, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I need a hundred star bits to curb my hunger pangs. So, we're going to fatten him up and put him in the oven and eat him, apparently. No, but we're just going to fatten him up and then he's going to uh, explode into a planet. This is a very strange portion of this, why a Luma would, you know, eat so much and then explode and then turn into a planet that's shaped like that. But hey, he does leave a little pink sling star. In memoriam, Hungry Luma. This is actually a pretty cool shaped planet. It's like a giant top hat or something. I don't know. Alright. Uh, let's backflip up here. Screw going the normal way. Oh. Fail. <laughs> fail at speedrun. It's not really... I'm, I can't speed... I would love to speedrun this game. And I've yet to think of like a challenge, because I did that with Psycho Waluigi, so that... Um, now you can do that, or... Or... You can just do that and get yourself up there. Why not make things go by quicker? Not that I want this LP to go by quick. Oh no 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 sir! I love this uh, I love this game too much to want this to go by quickly. It is a fun 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 game. I'm keeping, the, I'm keeping these uh, episodes kinda short except for the first one I wanted to at least get through the tutorial level with uh, the cutscenes here. Um, I want, hold on a minute. There's a, I might as well explain this, there are a few sections in this game where this kind of thing happens. Which you've got blue, which uh, have forced the uh, gravity to go down, and red, which forced you to go up. And you can skip about half of it if you do that. I'm teaching you things, how about that? I'm concerned that my phone just died. That's what I normally have my timer on. So that's good. Oh, there we go, sweet. I'll have to check after this level to see if that's the truth. Because if it is, talk about bummers. Oh, oh, I'm actually going to try and risk my neck to go over there. Don't ask me why. For the one-up, that's why. Later on, we'll be able to get one-ups whenever we, uh... I was almost about to say whenever we log into the game, but whenever we start up the game. Let's check and see if my phone died or not. Oh, joyous day, it did. They say the droid Razor Max has a good battery life. Psh, well, maybe because I have a bunch of apps going. Now, um, what these blue star chips do is that they will create pull stars around at each of these points here to pull you eventually into the star, but if you long jump, you can get the star that way! Hey, alright. How about that? Let's see how long I've been recording for. Yeah, we'll probably end it off here. Two levels, that's pretty solid. I think this is good. I'd like, uh, just, you know, so... I'll also do this to see what you guys think about this time. I think this is good. A good way to space it out over the summer, especially. This is going to be fun. So, if, uh, as always, if you'd like to play alongside me, this is a Let's Play, so if you'd like to leave a video response of you playing a level faster than me, please go ahead. I would, I'd love, this is a game that I would love to be able to speedrun, and if any of you know how to speedrun levels, or are skilled enough to speedrun levels, or want to attempt speedrunning a level or something, that would be really cool if you wanted to, but again, you don't have to. Collecting power stars to expand our range of vision, perhaps eventually include the enemy base. And yes, we will save our game. The game has been saved. Great, thanks. Alright, so next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we'll be taking on... We won't be going here just yet. We'll be taking on the third star of Good Egg Galaxy. And uh, probably getting into one of the uh, block worlds. Uh, unless... We'll decide. We'll see what we want to do. 
So yes, guys, thank you very much for joining me in this installment. Uh, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.